It may look like a cruel form of torture, but it's all in preparation for a UBC research expedition to Mount Everest. At the end of April, we head off to Mount Everest in Nepal for six weeks, where we spend two, two weeks trekking to the lab and then four weeks doing research at the lab at just over 5,000 meters. A scientific team of 25 researchers from around the world, including principal investigator Philip Ainsley, will make this trek to the Himalayas. This high altitude expedition will provide an excellent means to examine physiological adaptations to chronic reductions in the pressure of oxygen. And in. Low levels of oxygen are associated with many pathologies, so this is an opportunity to take healthy people and to expose them to low levels of oxygen to see how their heart, lungs and brains can adapt or maladapt to, to, that, to that exposure. There's 25 people in total from I think eight different countries. Uh, there's about 10, 12 graduate students and some undergrad students and then some co-investigators from Australia, New Zealand, uh, Europe, America who, who come here for baseline tests in the next few weeks and then they all, we all meet in Nepal and, and get up to the lab. I want to go on this expedition because I strive for success and the best generally and I mean Mount Everest is the best in its sense and in the physiology it's groundbreaking work that all the workers are doing here and I'm stoked to be a part of it and I want to be immersed in that environment. I go. Wow. Uh, Low levels of oxygen occur in many forms of pathology, lung disease, heart failure, it occurs when we get older, so it, it forms a way to understand how low levels of oxygen can affect the body at an early stage. This will be Ainsley's eighth trip to Everest, where members of the expedition will be conducting a variety of experiments, including invasive procedures and the study of sleep apnea, a common occurrence at high altitudes. It's quite hard to do these experiments. It takes, a lot, it takes three or four years minimum to organize it and get used to a lab space up there. There's only one or two labs at that elevation in the world. So we have use of this lab, so then we're maximizing the, the productivity we can do there. All 25 team members will be going under extensive acclimatization and baseline testing before and during the expedition. The results of the testing will be compared to the natives of the Himalayans. We compare it with some high altitude residents who are born and bred at high altitude for many generations. So we see how people can adapt over generations. So we have a, a number of continuums to see how people can adapt in the short term and long term to low levels of oxygen. Expedition organizers also hope to raise funds through the sale of a limited edition commemorative patch. The funds will help aid the region's peoples in building schools, health care and other facilities.